So, today we are working on doing some frost seeding, frost seeding of our chicory around a bunch of fruit trees. So, ooh, this wind is nasty. Sorry guys. That's what we got. Um, so the whole goal here for what we're doing in this plot is to, basically we want to establish We don't want to damage the roots of the trees, so we're not going to be like tilling and doing a bunch of stuff right around the trees. We might come in here later spring, cut all the fescue down. So it's really windy today. So we're going to establish a clover plot around these apple trees. And you can see there's a bunch of just fescue grass, some dogwoods, all kinds of stuff here that we are that what we don't want is for it to grow up around these apple trees we want to make this a nice little food plot suppress all the other plants that we don't want help establish these trees better um, the thing we're trying not to do is come in with a tiller or burn or herbicide anything we don't want to damage these trees so we're going to be testing out the frost seeding right into this fescue grass Later this spring, as it gets some rain and stuff, we're going to um, we're going to cut this fescue grass down before it starts growing. Um, that's going to allow that clover to start start growing fast and getting established. So stay tuned as we test this out. This is we're doing it, you know, pretty basic today. This is very little tools required to do this. Um, other than like if you wanted to come in with a mower and cut the grass down later um, But other than that, we're just using a little cedar here Getting the seed on the ground really basic um, You can use it again if you did it last year, it really well it comes up in bigger patches, but it it works You don't really need any using about a half of this five pound bag here two and a half pounds um, that should do an acre but we're really going to pile it on thick in here and you know really try to get this going we're going to put it on a little thick super high winds today going to make it really difficult but with the time we got and, you know our window of opportunity we got to just do it so um we're gonna just start walking, zigzagging through this plot. We're gonna kind of expand it, you know, 20 yards, 20 feet past all of the trees. And then probably put a section here up to this big tree. There is a deer stand in there. That is a spot we we hunt from. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's proving to be pretty difficult in this wind with this tiny little seed. It's blown everywhere, but um, kind of keeping it lower to the ground. Keep a consistent path and make your zigzags through and it'll be just fine. But the goal with this frost seeding is you're basically taking these fine seeds like a clover seed, it's a hard seed, and you're planting it before it's even going to germinate. Basically you're going to use the weather to send the seed down into the soil. of thawing and freezing as we're going through this early spring period. Um, the next seven days we're going down So what that's doing is it's freezing up the soil during the day, it's warming up, it's cracking and opening up the soil, and it's freezing 
is pulling and I mean it's just contracting that soil and it's going to keep bringing that seed in. So that's what you want to focus on is finding the weather that's going to be ideal um, before you start getting the warmer temperatures and it's starting to germinate. So that's where I look for that time period where you're going to get a solid week, two weeks of the freeze-thaw pattern. And that's, that's what I usually look for. It's different across the states um, here in West, Minnes West Central Minnesota. It, I mean, uh, it, it just greatly depends on uh, the winter and how things are going. So there you go. That's what we're doing. It's nice and chilly today. If you're enjoying this content and want to learn more about deer, real estate, uh, hunting strategies, food plots, habitat management, you know, go ahead, subscribe, get up to date info and like this video. So have a good one. Get outside.